for the people who don't know, so you are executive producing it. You're directing a couple of episodes, mm-hmm. and you're acting in it. Sure. So why did you want to do this? Well, I didn't want to do it. Um, I got a call and said, you want to do it from Paramount? And I said, no. And then I read the scripts, and I thought, well, these are great. And, I mean, you do this a lot. You interview people. You see a lot of shows. You see a lot of movies. There aren't that many great scripts. You know, we see a lot of bad stuff. Um, if you're going to spend two years out of your life, you want it to be worth and this felt worthwhile. It felt like a great story. Obviously, it's a classic novel, which makes it difficult to do. But we thought, well, let's take a swing at it. It seems like fun. And then you have to move to Italy, which really, really sucks. I mean, it's Very hard. Idea. Sardinia. You know, the problem with Italy is the food is so bad. <laughs> yes, absolutely. The food is terrible, and the people are unfriendly, as you know. The worst. And uh, Rome, one of the ugliest cities <laughs> ever. You know, I mean, what have they done? Rome. Yeah, it was, honestly, what a lucky time in life, you know. And uh, because we were on set last year, and it was incredibly hot, and it was also incredibly beautiful to be there. You were riding your bicycle, and the lunch was pretty horrible, which was excellent. I know, even the lunches at there were great. But you had to move your family to to Sardinia. Sure. So can you talk a little bit about that? Because now you're almost like a little traveling circus. We are kind of, and, and it's funny, because the four of us have to, like, you know, when you move, you got like, you know, Omal and I talked about, we were both, I got married at 52 years old. You know, for most of my life, I was able to just pick up and do something on my own. And now it's like, you can't get in the car without baby seats. And let me tell you something. I, I am now the master of putting a baby seat in a car. And it is, I don't know what, what the combination, why does it have to be so hard? Just a baby seat. And I got to do two of them. So I've gotten good at it. And a lot of diapers involved. I mean, I can't yeah. imagine what it's like to have twins. I mean, <laughs> well, it's pretty crazy, uh, particularly because they're like two. So now they're mobile enough to w- run in two different directions. I was a, I was very good at the diaper changing until they got onto solid food, and then boy, it turned into a nightmare. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Terrifying. And you've seen a, a thing or two. Yeah. Um, you also got into a car accident. I yeah. mean, you were on a, a bike. Mm. Can you talk a little bit about what happened there? How were you doing? I'm fine. Didn't you know, anything? look, if you did it 100 times, uh, you know, 99 times, you wouldn't make it out of there. I hit that guy at 70 miles an hour head on, and I got launched. I just, you know, I, it's like if you threw a, a, a pencil up in the air and it landed on the point. I landed. I was flipping, but I landed on my hands and knees. And so... I cracked up my knees, and I, um, and I was cut up pretty bad. It knocked me out of my shoes. I mean, it really hit hard. But, um, you know, I was able, it was, you know, if, if you get nine lives, I used them all up on that one. So I, I feel, now I'm off of motorcycles. I had to promise my wife I was done with motorcycles. So I got 40 years in. It was fine. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much.